Hello, it's the Irish Gypsy here to do your 2015 reading. I will again be using the Gilded Tarot deck, pulling eight cards for the month, two cards for each week, with an overall card for the general theme and feeling of the month. These are general readings, so they may not apply or resonate the same with everyone who watches them. So I suggest you also check your rising and your moon sign as well. Um, if you're interested in having a personal reading with me, you can click on the About button on my channel's homepage, and that will give you a little more detail about myself, the services I offer, and my contact information, which is maggie1mcguire at gmail.com. That's maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. Uh, I will be running holiday specials for the month of December from the 1st to the 31st. I will be offering 30-minute readings for $25 and 60-minute readings for $50. I do those via scheduled appointment on Skype, or based on the information you send me, I can send you a recorded video um, on your reading. And I also offer a three-card spread where I email you the written version of your reading along with an accompanying card, uh, accompanying picture for the card layout. I can also send that via video. That will be about a 15-minute vid video, and that will be $25 as well. So for those of you who have been watching and listening and subscribing to my channel, you have my gratitude and my thanks. It's been an absolute delight communicating with you and meeting those of you who have introduced yourself so far. So thank you very much for that. And I wish all of you a very happy holiday season. So let's get started. This video is for Leo for the month of December 2015. My feisty, fiery lions of the zodiac. Leo, December 2015. What does the month of December hold for you? Leo, December 2015. Leo, Lion, December 2015. I cannot believe we're almost into another year. Leo, December 2015. Okay. Leo, for the first week, we have the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Pentacles. For the second week, we have the Hierophant, followed by the Four of Wands. For the third week, we have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Emperor. For the fourth week, we have the Two of Swords, followed by the Ace of Wands. And as the general theme or overall feeling of the month, I'll pull a card from the bottom of the deck. And you have the King of Wands. Very interesting, Leo. It looks like, um, it looks like a month focused uh, more on money and finances and job than anything else. So we begin the month, and again... Uh, as you probably know, there's no definitive beginning and ending to the timeline of the cards. This reading represents the general month of December, but it can also begin in the month of November and go into the month of January as well. So we begin with the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Pentacles. Looks like it's all about the money this month, the job and the career. So the Page of Pentacles, Pentacles being a suit that represents money, job, career, finances, property, things of that sort, it looks like you will be getting a message this month uh, that has to do with money, career, job. It looks like you're actually getting a message about jobs. Um, you're getting a new job. I'm getting the feeling that you're getting a new job, you're being offered a new job, or you're moving up in your job, you're being offered a promotion or a higher sense of responsibility that's going to um, be quite prosperous for you. It looks like it's going to pay off pretty well. The Page of Pentacles is accompanied by the Knight of Pentacles, which is... Um, the Knight of Pentacles, along with the Page of Pentacles, too, um, I wanted to add that the Page of Pentacles is one of the most more responsible, the most responsible page of all the pages. It also represents somebody who's... Um, becoming more grounded and more responsible and mature and how they relate to their material possessions. They're beginning to 
have a, a more intelligent relationship with money and seeing it as the tool that it is. Um, also somebody who's coming into a place in their life where they are learning to trust their intuition a little bit better, more responsible, more grounded, more reliable. Perhaps that's why you're being offered this new job or offered a promotion at work. Perhaps um, you're being seen or being complimented on being uh, uh, more responsible and more reliable at work. The Knight of Pentacles is um, um, the, the, the bringers of the Zodiac uh, Knights. Um, if you look at the role of Knights in medieval times, they are the ones that are sent out on quests um, to accomplish something, to bring back something for those <clears throat> that are sending them. The Knight of Pentacles is also a very responsible, grounded, mature person. And I'm actually kind of getting that message when I look out over the cards for your reading. There's a lot about stability, of a sense of being grounded, of belonging, of, um, of structure. Um, I think that this job you're being offered or promotion that you're being offered or opportunity um, that you're being offered is one that is based on... Um, Perhaps it's a more traditional sort of job. Perhaps what you're moving into is something that's based more on um, a traditional structure. Um, I also think, I feel like you're coming into a position you're coming into a, 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 you're in a place in the month of December where you're, maybe you've made a decision to, to knuckle down somehow, to really put your nose to the grindstone. It looks like you're, you're, you're being, you're being offered something based on how you're presenting yourself to people. You're being offered this, um, this job or this promotion based on uh, your ability to across as reliable and dependable and mature. The advice to this too is that this new job or this new promotion that you're being offered, this new um, financial opportunity, it looks like it's going to pay off for you, that it's going to be a pretty prosperous one, but that it's going to rely pretty much on your being uh, kind of by the books, that you're being more structured, more responsible, more reliable about it somehow. It's the feeling I'm getting so far. In the second week, we have the Hierophant, followed by the Four of Wands, beautiful card. Now, the Hierophant is a card of about the establishment, uh, structures, institutions, um, tradition, doing things by the book, being organized, structured. Um, it seems to be a, a theme in this reading so far, Leo. Um, and being accompanied by the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands is a card that um, it's uh, even though it's not a ten, it's more of a completion card, and it it talks about um, I always like to call this the happy home card. Um, it shows a man and a woman and a child standing in the middle of a circle of staffs um, with a wreath uh, above them in the sky. Um, they look very happy, very content. It looks like it's also a card that talks about an unexpected um, pleasure, an unexpected surprise, something uh, something coming up very quickly, or something that you're going to be celebrating that's that's an unexpected an unexpected bit of happiness. Um, coming with the hierophant and the message so far with the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles being about something being about structure and groundedness and reliability and um, some some kind of traditional structure. It looks like this is going to be something, this new job or new opportunity or promotion is going to be something that um, while it's uh, something that's by the books or it's being offered to you because you've presented yourself as a, a, a reliable, mature, responsible, grounded sort of person, it looks like it's going to bring about um, more happiness and more prosperity than you actually had anticipated. Um, if this were actually a relationship reading, I would look at the Hierophant and the Four of Wands as the classic marriage card. Although there's there's nothing else, there's no other cup, there's no cups in this reading. There's nothing else that indicates uh, love is on board for you this month, uh, Leo. Not to say that love is not present in your life, but it's just taking a back burner uh, this month. There's there's really nothing about um, nothing about um, love relationships in this reading. 
it looks like um, I'm also getting uh, the advice that whatever this opportunity is that's being presented to you, that um, your success and happiness in it is going to be based all about how you go about performing your duties, performing your job, that the advice is to, um, to do this by the books, to do this in the structure, in the manner that's presented to you. And it looks like it's going to work out better than you anticipate. Um, there's going to be some kind of unexpected pleasure attached to this offer. There's going to be some kind of um, unexpected news that comes your way. Uh, perhaps it's a celebration about the new job or a celebration about the promotion. But it looks like it's going to be offering more money than you had anticipated, more room for advancement than you had originally thought, and you're going to be very happy about it. This could also benefit, it looks like it's also going to be benefiting your home in some way, your family in some way. There may be a small portion of you who are actually marrying into money. This, um, this coupling of cards, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands being a traditional combination of marriage even though I don't see it for the rescue, there may be a small portion of you, Leo, who um, who will be either marrying into money, marrying into wealth, or um, coming into um, being given a gift of wealth, or coming into an unexpected um, form of wealth from family members, maybe uh, the settlement of an estate or something like that. Although I, I get this would be a small portion. For the rest of you, it's going to be about this this new job, this promotion, this new career opportunity. Uh, it looks very traditional and very structured, um, but it looks like it's going to make you happier than you think, and it's going to benefit you quite a bit. It's going to benefit your family, your home life, uh, your, your way of living um, in some way, which, of course, more money would. Now, in the third week of the month, we have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Emperor card. Again, another Pentacles card. You have three of them here along with um, three Wands card as well, which uh, is a suit that um, is symbolic of movement and career and inspiration and intuition. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is uh, probably the most straightforward of all the Aces. It represents being given a gift. Um, and an opportunity. And this gift is a gift typically of resources. Um, it might be an actual gift of, of, of money, of cash. It could be a gift of someone's time and advice. Um, now, accompanied by the Emperor card, this could be, again, for some of you, this could be an actual gift of money that's coming from uh, this Emperor person who would be an older, more established person as someone who's coming from, um, someone whom you respect, someone that you look up to, somebody who is financially quite well grounded and able to be um, more philanthropic with people. This could be an actual gift of money and resources you're getting from this individual. This is also, I also see this for some of you as, um, again, a, a piece of advice which bolsters the Hierophant and, and the Knight of Pentacles in that, um, the emperor often shows up when you're being given an opportunity on a new career path. It could be that you're deciding to uh, to switch careers, that you're deciding to head into a different direction. Um, the emperor is somebody who it, it represents also just a time period that's more um, more structured. Um, trying to put this together in a more cohesive way so I'm not stumbling over the words. It, it looks like you're you're being offered something, a new opportunity in career or or a job. You're being offered a new job. You're, you're going into a new career or you're being bumped up in your job uh, because of how hard you've been working, because of uh, the structure in which you present yourself, your reliability, your dependability, which is actually what this new opportunity or this new job is going to be depending on, dependent on. It's going to be dependent on exactly how you nurture it. Aces are represent gifts, and, but they also represent opportunities. So this is something that you actually have to take action on to take. Aces uh, represent new beginnings. They are the seed. They're wonderful gifts, but they're also seeds. So 
how how this actually grows is going to be dependent on how you nurture it and the feeling that I'm getting so far and the message that's coming through quite loud and clear is one of structure and stability so this is something that you need to go about by the books that you need to be organized and disciplined and reliable in this and perhaps this is why you're being offered that perhaps this is why you're being offered this gift this opportunity also for some of you uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor could mean that you're you're given that this actual gift is coming from family members, perhaps from parents, or again, I'm getting maybe the settlement of an estate of some kind, but this is coming somehow from uh, from family, from background, something, something like that. Um, there's something, there's a newness about this. There's a, a feeling uh, from this reading that's... Um, it's something new. It's something fresh. I think it's less less about a promotion the more that I look at this and more about an actual job offer. You're being offered a job or offered the opportunity to, um, to move into a, a new career path. And um, it's going to bring you a lot, of, um, a lot of joy, a lot of prosperity, more than you realize actually right now. And while it's going to depend on how structured and, and dependable you are, it's also saying there's a message here with the wands cards um, that it's something you need to take action on, um, that it's something you need to, that it's an opportunity only and how this works out is going to depend on, on how well you work at it, how responsible and organized you are in this. Now in the last week we have the, whoops, we have the Two of Swords followed by the Ace of Wands, another card represent new beginnings, wands being the suit that symbolizes um, uh, creativity, passion, fire, intuition, uh, new projects. Uh, the two of swords, you can see there's a woman, she's blindfolded, and there are two swords crossed in front of her pointing down. This is a card that represents um, being at a crossroads, having a decision to make, um, needing to come to a truce. Uh, this card also represents, can represent, um, a period of, of almost willful, willful or a, a willing sort of uh, stagnation, meaning that you're in a place where you're allowing the blindfold to be kept on your eyes because for some reason you're, you have been unwilling to make a decision about this. Um, I'm actually getting a feeling about this. Um, perhaps you've been in a job that's very established, uh, a job that you've been at for a while that provides you with a certain level of a uh, certain sense of uh, security and continuity and you may have not been happy in this job or you may have been thinking about transitioning to something different uh, but because you're afraid to let go of it, um, you've deliberately kept yourself from making any decisions or any new moves. But uh, what this reading is saying, Leo, is that you're being offered a very clear opportunity now, a new job offer, um, the chance to go in a new direction that's going to make you quite happy. Um, starting out with the Page of Pentacles uh, also suggests to me that you're being asked to trust, if you have some kind of gut feeling about this, to trust that, to trust in your intuition. The Ace of Wands, uh, it's another ace that represents new beginnings. Um, uh, the wands are, the element of wands uh, being fire and air, they imply a change, movement, action, power. Um, the wands are act, very action-oriented um, cards, and the ace of wands is, again, another gift being offered to you. Um, but as opposed to the ace of pentacles, which is a very tangible uh, sort of gift, a gift of actual tangible resources, the ace of wands is um, all about passion and creativity. It's it shows that you're being, it seems like you're being offered um, an opportunity for, again, I'm getting new career. Uh, for some of you, this, this is just going to be a promotion in a, in, a, in a job or career you already have. For some of you, it's going to be the opportunity to partner up with someone else. Um, but I'm getting more new career, new job, and um, something that is fueled by a passion, something that you're very excited about. It's a new idea. It's a new... Again, I'm getting new career path, and you may be or may have been hesitant to explore this further or to actually take it, but the cards are saying um, it, now is the time to do that. The Ace of Wands is a direct message saying now is the time to get off the couch and actually go for this. This is your go for it card, Leo. 
Um, the Ace of Wands is saying you're being given the gift of this new opportunity and it's time to it's time to take it. This is an action oriented card. Um, and then it's time for movement. Don't let the fear of what if or what might not happen or what might happen stop you. Take the blindfold off. Make the decision. It's time to move now. It looks really good for you, Leo. This looks like um, this looks like a new career path. This looks like an opportunity that's really going to pay off for you in ways that you're not even seeing right now um, in a very prosperous way that it's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit your home. It's going to benefit the people around you. Um, and it's going to be something that's very, that's very structured, that's very traditional. The card I pulled for your overall theme or general feeling of the month is the King of Wands. And again, I think this is a message that's underscoring the message of the rest of the Wands card, which is now is a time for action. Uh, the time for um, contemplation is over. Uh, the King of Wands is a person who... Um, Somebody who is, uh, this is a person who is less prone to talking and more about getting the job done. This is someone who is uh, fueled by uh, passion and the desire for change, uh, which I'm also getting quite strongly in this reading. The King of Wands is a man who, um, you can see he's sitting in his throne. I, I always think he's sitting in his throne a little bit restlessly, and I always see this king of wands, um, I would think of Aries as this com uh, comes up as uh, wands, the element of wands being fire and air, which is movement, action, change, power. This is a person who um, does less talking than he does actual acting. And I, I think this, this just bolsters the underlying message, Leo, that uh, whatever this new opportunity is that's coming your way, um, it's it's not something that's actually it's something that's being offered to you for number one it's it's as the ace of pentacles says it's something that's actually being offered to you it's not actually being dropped in your lap so in order for you to take this you're going to have to, in order for you to have this you're going to actually have to reach out and take this gift that's being offered to you um, this seems a very action oriented a uh, very action oriented card in it it I'm getting quite strongly, even though this could read as relationships for some of you, as it was last month, this seems to be more about um, job and career, and I'm, I keep getting new job, new career, a uh, change of path. Um, it's time to take the blindfold off, Leo, and um, take action. You, you have two aces in your reading, and it's not often that I get that people get more than, than one ace in their reading, and you, you've got two here. And um, they're both pointing towards um, your physical, tangible world. So if you're being offered a new job, a chance at a, a career path that you've considered, but, but for some reason been a little fearful about taking, uh, this message is encouraging you to take action on this, to trust your intuition. Um, it looks also like you're being offered this opportunity um, based on how you've presented yourself in the past or leading up to now. And it looks like you're somebody that people see as someone who can be relied on, someone dependable. Um, there's, uh, there's a great deal about structure and discipline and responsibility in this, about doing things by the book, about adhering to certain principles, um, about being kind of a forthright, upstanding individual, someone who um, is willing to take the steps to get the job done and get it done properly. And the overall message is about action this month, Leo, that it's time to take action, to reach out and take this opportunity to take the gift of these aces of new beginnings and take them for the seeds that they are, plant them and nurture them with consistency and with work and with structure and with discipline. It looks like it's going to pay off really well for you. It looks like during the month of December, you're going to have, um, you're, this is really going to bring you happiness and prosperity and abundance. It's something that's going to continue to build for you in the future, but the opportunity to take it is now, Leo. So it looks really good for you. It looks like a very action-driven month. It looks like a month that's going to be um, at least the beginnings of prosperity for you, something that you're moving into. Um, a new job, a new career path, um, some kind of new financial opportunity that's going to bring about some unexpected joys and pleasure for you along the way as long as, uh, along with um, 
an added sense of security, a sense of continuity, and, a, and more of a sense of, um, of establishment in your life, of rootedness, of groundedness. Yeah, it looks pretty exciting and pretty fast moving. But again, it's dependent on your actions, Leo, and that's the advice in this. It's time to, it's time to get off the couch and reach out and take this gift and really run with it. And uh, uh, the advice would be to um, well, that is the advice. It's time to take action this month but also to go about doing things in the right way. If there's a certain structure, a certain method in which you need to go about doing this. Um, also as well, it looks like whatever it is that you're moving into may include learning um, maybe a new skill set or something that you're, um, maybe it's going to require some extra schooling or, or improving a set of skills that you already have. Um, that there's a certain way to go about doing that. You may be asked to um, take further training in order to accomplish this Leo but it looks like it's going to pay off really well for you and I'm excited to see how this works for you in the month of January it's always interesting to do general readings I'm, I'm coming from a background where I have exclusively done personal one-on-one -on -one specific readings for people and so it's a little different to do general readings where it's not always clear to me exactly uh, what the subject is because um, I don't know who I'm reading for so if this resonates with any of you at all and you're comfortable with sharing that with me, you can either message me or, or put something in, uh, in the comments on feedback if this does resonate with you. If it doesn't, again, I suggest you check your rising and your moon sign. I will have the rest of the zodiac signs out within this next week. So um, how exciting for you, Leo. Um, it looks like this is a, a great new path for you, and it looks like it's going to be pretty abundant. So... Uh, kudos for you. Again, I wish you a very happy uh, Christmas and a new year. And if you'd like a further extension on this reading or a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, please, again, don't hesitate to contact me at maggie1mcguire at gmail.com. You can click on the About button on my channel's homepage, and that will give you further information on how to contact me and what other services I offer. So have a happy holiday season, Leo. I hope it's a joyous one, and I will see you in the new year of 2016. And as always, I wish you joy, peace, happiness, and abundance. Bye.